cannabis industry calls for legalization and regulation to snuff out underground vapes. 100% agree. The recent rash of vaping-related illnesses and deaths could represent a crisis. Wait a minute. What? Seven is a rash now? Yep. Oh, a rash. A rash. Could represent a crisis for the legal cannabis industry, which relies on vaping for an estimated quarter of its business in some states. But some people in the industry believe the problem could also represent an opportunity to both uh, help people and push toward wider legalization in the United States. On Wednesday, the National Cannabis Industry uh, Association, NCIA, uh, put out a call to Congress to deal with vaping-related illnesses, legalize cannabis, and regulate us. Cannabis uh, stat- status as a federally illegal substance fuels illicit products, hinders research, and limits the ability to develop consistent regulations. Uh, The head of the Cannabis Trade Association said Wednesday, these unfortunate illnesses and deaths are yet another uh, terrible and largely avoidable consequence of failed prohibition policies. Aaron Smith, the NCIA's executive director, said in a statement. So what do you guys make of this? Uh, Where I'm standing is I 100 percent agree with uh, the NCIA on this one, which I've never heard of that organization. I I I can't see how you would. Yeah, I I don't see how you could really like. I mean, uh, I don't really know the full story behind these uh, seven v- mysterious vaping illness deaths, and I know that there's like a hundred or so people who are I just know suffering. More. If you go down, I think there's like been 450 deaths overall. Uh, I've only heard of seven. Well, now, the number go, I've heard touted well, maybe, is seven. Well, maybe, well, maybe that's go, go back to the article. Yeah, okay. I saw, I saw the number 450 used a bunch of. Uh, Here we uh, go. Let's see. What we got? About more than four. Oh, have been sickened. Okay, okay. More than right. 450 people so have been what, sickened, and six okay, people have so died. Another person has died since this article was published, so it's now up to seven. Okay, so seven deaths. In According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. How many people are sickened by cigarettes every day? Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, more than 450. Uh, no so bus- why, what, what? By the way, uh, I, there's another article. I didn't pull it, but it was basically because of uh, the crackdown on vaping, a lot of people have started turning shock and awe to uh, cigarettes. Yeah. To, uh, Welcome back. <laughs> yep. So I we missed you. I've even heard people speculate that maybe the tobacco industry is in some way uh, behind uh, this stuff. The, I mean, I don't. I think that's probably a little this bit is, on in the my territorial mind, side. But this is a separate fucking issue. Mm-hmm. This is all. Uh, almost all of these deaths that have happened are traced to these cannabis, these bootleg cannabis cartridges. Yeah, correct. But the legislation that's been proposed by our by the Trump lump covers vaping and talks about how we need to protect kids from jewels and shit. Yep. Right. Which that's going to be the I don't think anybody here. I don't think anybody who's died has been smoking a jewel or uh or any of the fucking legal. No. I'm pretty sure that they've all died doing illicit bootleg shit. So that's kind of the point I mean, here. I've looked at the facts and figures but what remains though is the fact that now they're trying to re- I think you see these stories cuz they really strongly want to regulate vaping. And, and, and I think they, there's been a huge increase. Well, it sounds like the industry is actually like, yeah, regulate us. Well, the cannabis industry has been fine with that. I, don't, I, I think it's really obviously companies like Juul and these other companies that make these products. And obviously the vapors that just, you know, make their own solutions or whatever. That's, I'm, I'm fine that's with putting regulations in, in place to make sure that everything's safe and shit. I have a... Well, yeah, of course. I just across I, the board. I was handed a Juul by a Zandalar Cryptodusius Esquire. Did I get that right? Yeah, you did. Wow. Good job, TJ. Yay. So I got a jewel here. I don't know what fla- what flavor is this? Menthol. Menthol. It's a menthol jewel. Oh, now you're addicted, dude. You're done. <laughs> Do you feel worse? It's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> no, well, I, I, TJ heard, wants a jewel now. I've heard anecdotal bad things about jewels and these other vaping systems, but most people just discontinue use of them. It's pretty for a little tiny USB drive looking motherfucker. It, Packs a fucking punch. I'll give it that. There you go. Oh Another shit! I think I'm dying. I think I'm dying. You're dead, oh, dude. Oh, I'm, vaping I'm related okay. I'm illness. Okay. I'm okay. Uh, so here's. I'm gonna read one more quote before we uh, go on. You guys can react to this. Uh, it's kind of along the same lines, but uh, let's just take a look real quick. Uh, we are still in the bathtub gin era with cannabis, uh, where there are a whole lot of people without access to legal cannabis and people who are not in the regulated market take advantage of this, and people who are new to the market take advantage of this. Naturally. Said A.C. Braddock, CEO of Seattle-based Eden Labs, a 25-year-old manufacturer of equipment that extracts plant oils. So um, I'm pretty much in agreement with this. Right now we're basically in this weird um, quasi-prohibition era. Obviously, marijuana was illegal for a super long time. Uh, Now it's kind of like... 
half the states, uh, you know, there's like more a, than half. There's like a ha- half the states. It's either yeah, yeah, more than half the states is either legal or it's medicinally legal or there's some gateway to get it legally. And then we still have some prohibition states, mostly uh, here in the South. Um, so it's like we're in this weird, you know, no man's land where no one's quite sure how it's going to go. I think most of us probably think that uh, we're heading towards national we, legalization. We have a patchwork it's just like of competing Someone just fucking do it. Well, and, and it's so strange because, like, you know, in this state, oh, my God, it's so bad and illegal. But then if you go to fucking Florida. I mean, Trump with an executive order could fucking take it off Schedule 1, I think. I think that's how it works. I think I've heard the president has the power to just unilaterally do that. Well, actually, if you go over to Florida, TJ, medicinal over there, like, there's a lot of people that get medicinal cards. Like, they have vape cartridges over there and shit. Like, and Florida actually, in the south. Of course, all them old fucks want all the good drugs. So Florida actually might become the first state, a southern state, to actually legalize weed. No, it isn't more of a long shot. That makes Orlando all the better fucking vacation destination, in my opinion. We need a federal law. That's the fucking problem here. Like, look, these state laws. That's all it takes. Just blanket federal fucking regulation Someone of the whole industry and just mass If Trump doesn't have the balls to do it, then one of these Democratic candidates running needs to do it. Somebody needs to do it. Do Let's you, do you go to each one of these prohibition states and tell them you can't make this illegal anymore? You can't prohibit this? Yeah, just this is illegal nationwide. You have to, you have I mean, to allow people can, to start businesses here and sell this. Uh, states can commerce. still... I mean, like it's just like alcohol. Like Alcohol is legal nationwide. States and counties and stuff can still do their own stupid They just got to have like... Oh, like in Utah, they got to have like a government right. store if they want to ban yeah. it. Yeah, yeah the, so the government I mean, like, weed store. Certain states Fine. can still stamp their feet and go, eh, but, you know, make it legal. Legalize government that Government weed store. I'm fine with that. I'll go get some government weed. Some, give me some G13, please. I love please. that, dude. Yeah. Give me I some government it. weed and some government cheese while you're at it. Update on the uh, previous story that I just saw uh, as breaking news over on uh, CNBC. Apparently, uh, CBS and uh, Warner Media are dropping all e-cigarette advertising, including from market leader oh, Jewel. Oh, shit. Uh, CBS and Warner Media said they will no longer run e-cigarette advertising. The decision comes days after uh, Warner Media's uh, c- CNN said it would uh, no longer run ads for vaping products. Doesn't matter. Concerns about Jules advertising in particular were raised last week in a letter uh, sent by the FDA. Look, the advertising for Jules, I've seen it a bunch of times. It's bullshit. It's like targeted towards middle-aged people. Most people using Jules are fucking teenagers. Let's just be honest. And they're going to keep doing this shit because their friends are doing it. The people that influence them are doing it. So whether they have these advertisers uh, uh, going out or not, it's not going to make much of a difference in the amount of people that are fucking vaping. I mean, this is the same shit that happened in the fucking 80s where you know people thought it was going to stop teenagers from smoking, taking down these cartoon ads. And it's the same misguided prohibitive nonsense yeah because the cam the the fucking uh joe camel is targeting kids let me tell you something about you know? kids and the, this is just a fundamental fact dude they can't make their own money in most cases and even if they can they can't live out on their own so guess who's responsible to make sure they slap the jewel out of their stupid little pecker head's mouth the government no oh mommy and daddy it's mommy and daddy's job to make sure little Johnny doesn't go get a prostitute and a big handle of wine <laughs> and uh, 10 packs of cigarettes and eight ounces of legal weed and stuff him up his ass and go- end up in the hospital overdosing on all that Stick shit. Around. But, but Paul, what about the parents that don't give a shit about their kids? Then they should be fucking punished right along with the kids. The talent show is coming. We're damn near almost there. Fucking like 25 people away or some shit. Yeah, we're really close, dude. When we hit our 5,000, the official deep fat fried talent show. Whoa, shall begin. Hello, injured cone cat. What's up, bro? Dude, I have yelled at these people about Patreon, and still some of them have not listened. What a bunch of stupid retards. And the last time, I tried talking to them logically. And still, still they have not listened. Didn't listen. So today, I'm trying another emotionally exploitative tactic. I will be weeping and asking them, please, become a patron. We need you. TJ, put the cat up. Put the cat up, TJ. We need, look at this okay. kitty. Look how sad if it is. If you don't become a patron, his head is going <laughs> to fall off. <laughs> Why? Right off his fucking body. That cone is the only thing holding it on, man. You need to be. We need it. We need need. Give us the give us the money. The money. We need 